95 at our own party. She's still doing the dishes. I know. Yeah. Hey, Ready to blow out your candles? Oh. We got a birthday cake for you. Oh, you gotta come sing. <laughs> you gotta blow out the candles. Oh, for goodness sakes. How, how sweet. Okay, oh. so we're gonna light your candles. Oh, what a nice surprise. Right, come over on this side. Okay. Alright, okay. boys, let her grab. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Can we go around you, sweetie? Boys mm -hmm. and dog. Okay. Come on, dog. Okay. <laughs> Watch out for the cake with the side. Okay, the dog right. is not getting out of the way. I can get this little thing to stay with. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandma. Happy birthday to you. And thank you all. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm uh, 78, uh, almost. Next month, I will be 78. I will be uh, 95 next month. Sure will. Mm -hmm. But I'm still able to do things, and uh, I feel blessed. I don't feel like I'm that old. But I really am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still driving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I was proud of my, of my uh, photo albums. I started with one back when the children were little. That's when I started. Uh huh. And uh, I gradually. As I would fill one up, where something else would come along, and I would use it, and and then when I met, remarried, and he was in the service, and we took trips, we took different books, and we thoroughly enjoyed having them, and uh, I want all my children, my three children, to to look, and so today, that the my uh, granddaughter, and her daughter, went through them and took the pictures that they wanted. And I want the others to, I want to, you know, take all the pictures that they possibly want. I don't want them to go be thrown away. And that's what would happen, I'm afraid, if I went. And the fact that I will be 95, anything could happen. So I really need to make some plans, but I haven't made any yet. My first husband lived, uh, we were married 44 years when he died. And now, and see, I remarried, oh golly, about eight years later. And, and now he's been gone 13 years. So I'm by myself, but I'm happy. I had never intended to remarry, but we, we did, and I never regretted it. And he lived, um, what, about 15 years after we were married. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I didn't know Dewey. I knew his sister. She worked with us. Uh, see, I, I belonged to the Red Cross for about 30 years that I helped with the uh, blood drives. And uh, when uh, she died, and when Jimmy died, uh, we had a friend not too far from here, that when Dewey went there, she said, why don't you go and take Billy? She's by herself. And uh, and she called me that night. She said, if he calls you, don't you die hang up. You talk to him. Because said uh, it would give you something to look forward to. Well, sure enough, he called me. And uh, uh, he wanted us to get know each other. See, we didn't know each other. And... Uh, 
So I said, well, uh, how about uh, let's get together and play some cards? I said, do you play cards? And he said, yes. So uh, he, uh, we said on a certain, seemed to me like it was a Sunday evening. I could, I'm not sure, but anyway, and I asked another couple that we that I knew to come and play cards with us, and we did, and uh, and we uh, we went together five years, having no intention of marrying. And we had this horrible snow, and we couldn't get to see each other, and uh, we ended up that we got married. I have forgotten how to cook now since everybody's been so good to me. And I see for so long I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do a thing. And now I can't, I can't do much housework, but I'm making out. And I've enjoyed being by myself. But now I'm taking a sewing club at church and I will mend for anybody and try to uh, help anybody that I possibly can. My, my object is to help because everybody's been so helpful to me. Really. Mm -hmm. And it makes me feel good. And I couldn't get along without Ronnie now because he, he'll come and uh, and he tends to my, my sores. He tends to my hurt legs. And and he right now, he's gotten to the point where he writes my bills and I will just sign my checks. My handwriting has gotten to be terrible. Uh -huh. and uh, But he'll come by and then he takes them and mails them to be sure he gets to the mail. Because I'm very, very forgetful now. And I loved being active and wanting to be a teacher, and I was an, uh, uh, an A student all my life in school, and I loved everything. And uh, it's just been since I had the jingles that I've gotten to the point where I can't, can't write well. Mm -hmm. But it's, I've had a busy life, and I've been happy. And now I will be 95 next month, but I don't feel like I'm 95. Mm -hmm. Let me see what else. Did I say. I'll start to say something and forget before I get it out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I started to say. <laughs> I'm terrible anymore. Mm -hmm. It's rough getting old. Really, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, I've lost my memory. Really and truly, I can't remember things, and it's a terrible way to be. It's a terrible way. Mm -hmm. um, I want. Um, everybody go buy my pictures. If there are any pictures in there that, that, that anybody wants, I want them to take it. Because if I go, if I, if, if I go in a hurry, people won't understand. I would like everybody, all the children to have whatever they want. Really. Mm -hmm. I was trying to think who, who had looked at them. I don't know whether it was, um, One of the children came in and sat down, and I don't know whether it was uh, your mom or not. I went through a lot of the books. Mm -hmm. But I love pictures of the family. I love them. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking any anymore, not now. And I would love for them to take whatever pictures they want of the family. Mm -hmm.